This is a little five minute video on this 3D printed water pump that I've made. So you can see here, it's just a square thing, then in there is the bit that um, spins. You can see all the fins. If I, there you go, there's the output. Just got a motor on it, this came out of a drill, so it's 24 volt DC. I'm only running it on 12 because that's more than enough. So this does get submerged, um, which does electrify the water a little bit. You can feel it on like cuts and weak points in your skin. But I've not had a problem with submerging it so far. Um, I've got another one I could replace it with if I need to. I'm thinking this might become a propulsion system for a dinghy. Um, we'll see how that goes. Then to power it, I've just got this little speed controller, came off Amazon, so you can... It does work as an air blower as well, but it's not quite as efficient, it doesn't really like it. It's a little bit out of balance at the high speeds. So yeah, what I'm going to do, just turn it off, going to take this bit of tube and push it in there and I will give it a test in this bucket of water. Okay, so I've got the pump in this bucket of water now with this bit of PVC tubing on there. Um, going to have to control the speed, hold this and the camera, so I'm not quite sure how well, this is going to work. Let's start it up. So this is only low speed. This is just sort of ticking over, really. Um, Right, I'm going to fill this bucket up a bit more and do the classic water pump test thing that is done in all YouTube videos. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for this bucket to fill up a bit more and then I'll show you it's squirting out everywhere. Then I've got this bowl, don't know how much liquid it holds at the moment. I will find out though and I'll put it in the middle of the water stream and we'll time how long it takes to fill up so you can get a flow rate um, so the next clip should be me doing that okay so I've got the bucket filled so you can be able to see the power and then I've got my bowl to test the flow rate so I'm just gonna come down here and turn it on oh it's cut out <laughs> So just if it cuts out, you just gotta unplug the power brick, wait a couple of seconds, and then plug it back in. So now, oh my god. Okay, right. Gonna do another test of flow rate and power. So. Right, three, two, one. Right, that's how long it took to fill the bucket. And you can see the power here. Can do quite a lot. It's going to start pulling air soon. So you can see flow has dropped and the pump has sped up because it's sucking air. Okay, so hopefully you saw from that what the power can do. It's not actually that bad. Um, some of the main problems at the moment is these wires are not 
capable of the current, they get a bit warm. And I should also be using batteries, not a power brick. I just don't have any charge at the moment. So really, you didn't see it go above 60% load at the moment. So I haven't actually run it at full yet, but I can imagine you'd be starting to hit the point of diminishing returns. Uh, anyway, so the next clip you'll see is just a quick test with that bit of guttering, just to do like a flow thing, I don't really know. Um, then that should conclude this video. Okay, so just to walk through the setup, I've got power brick there, just providing power of it, so that does 12 volts, 20 amps, roughly. And I've just got like this speed controller thing, so you can change the direction and the speed. The pump is in there underneath. There you go, it's there, and it's pumping up through this white tube. And then it comes out the top here, and then runs all the way back in. So let's just do a quick demonstration of this. I will just plug it in. There you go. So then you can see it's turn on the speed. So there you go, we're starting to move some water. So if you can see here on this little display, that's 40% output. So this is what 40% imp output power gets you. I'd say about a uh, one meter head pressure. Maybe 60%. Can't go much above 60% because my power brick can't provide enough power. So this is quite a lot of water. Let's try and get you a shot of that. Yeah, there you go, it's just cut out. So that's about as fast as it goes on this power brick. If I was running it off some LiPo batteries, it could do more. 